Hello, good afternoon everyone. So welcome to another episode of Liquid Frame. So today will be the part six of a 10 part video series on the Gucci tutorial. So basically run through all the very, very common functions that I use every day as part of my job, which is actually to maintain and cleaning up data here, there, and so on. So today is one of the most interesting ones because it's query. So if you're familiar with SQL, I believe that you'll be very familiar with the SQL uh, language format and so on. So query is actually, I'm not sure it's adapted or actually typed directly as a SQL from the SQL pipeline because the way that you're using it is extremely similar to the SQL language. And if you already know SQL, I mean SQL language, um, query will be very, very, very familiar to you. And if you're not, I think it's a very good way to start on how do you learn SQL. So I actually started uh, Kiri before I started SQL. So I believe this is very, very useful to learn this if, when you know you are going for data analytics and you're working with data in the long term because end of the day, almost every single uh, big data is gonna store in a Kiri format. So let's go through what we need to do. So today we're just gonna learn a single functions and this, the breakdown of how the function works with different filters and uh, criteria, order, limit, and so on. And of course, the first thing is to understand what is the syntax and where is the data come from. So the data come from this again. So this is actually using an import data functions uh, on an iris data set. So iris data set is actually 150 different flowers and they have the sample length, sample width, petal length, and petal width. Just uh, many, many different sample of flowers from three species, uh, Sentosa, Versicola, and Virginica. Virginia. So this is 150 lines and they have all the different characteristics. So we're trying to work on this data basically. So the second one will be what is the query structure and syntax. So it is very similar to the SQL language or the SQL language where you use query. So I mean typing a command in uh, Excel, you just write query, uh, open bracket, and then you put in your data. So this will be maybe A11 to E18, you can do that, uh, comma, and then you put in your search command. So the search command will be, um, I'll go through step by step on how do you do the search command. So we're gonna ignore the headers over here. We're gonna ignore our data, always have one header. So if there's one header, you can put one, and there's no header, you can put um, zero usually, or minus one basically. So you can just ignore it if you don't really want to deal with it. Okay, so let's go for the first example, the select command. So um, for the first um, data, you just want to select everything. You don't want any filtering. What you do is that you run query and just select everything. So let's just try on the example over here. So we are selecting our A11 to E19. Actually, I cannot do it here because of the limitation. Let's just do it here. So we can run a query and we only want to select the first three line of the data set, which is why I'll put in my source array over here. And what I do is that before I start typing command, I have to put a uh, double quote, so open and close, and then just select, and also apostrophe means everything. So I want to select everything, press enter, and this will give me the first uh, four lines. So first three line plus the header. If you don't put anything in header, it assumes there's a header, and it will return header. So you just return the whole query. You just put select. And if you actually want to do, let's say, I do not want all of the, uh, what, you, what do you call it? I do not want all the column. You can also uh, just put in, I only want A, A. So that's how you select the first one. You can also ask on B, or you can select uh, C. Or if you want multiple column, you just put uh, A, comma, B, C. That will select the column A, column B, and column C. So of course, the name of the column will depends on the name of your input. So if your name of input is G to O, of course you can say select column G, K, O, and so on and so forth. So just put in the name of the column. Okay. So if you are using an array as an input and not direct from the sheet, you can also say select column one, column two, and column three. So we'll go to that example uh, down below. Okay. So the first one is a where clause. So where determines the criteria. So this is the filtering criteria. I think that's straightforward enough. So you can see from the example here, I put a query and I put a input array from A11 to E19. You can have a look over here. So this is the total data that fits into the equations. And I say select all where A is smaller than 4.9. So which is 
filter the rows based on this set criteria. So in this case, we only get returned for three lines because there's only three of them, so that's lower than 4.9. So you can also put uh, 4.6 in this case, sorry, 4.7 in this case, it will only return two because the other one is disappeared. Okay, so uh, as uh, what I said just now, you can also select only column A or you can only select column B, which is first uh, A is sample length, while B is sample width. You can also select ABC where E equals to Sentosa. So in this case, I'm using the same input, but I'm removing the A lesser than 4.9 criteria, but I will say E is equals to Sentosa. So not a very good example. I should put E over here so that you can see all the species are Sentosa and you'll be able to get all of them as long as Sentosa. Okay, so you can also change the name. So let's say you want to match into, I want to only select when there are some other name, you can just change the name. So you can also realize that there's also a single code and a double code over here. So you always use double code when you're dealing with like outside equation over here and everything inside of the command, you use a single code to, to tell the, the command that uh, this thing is a string so that the uh, query command would be able to know that this is a string. I do not want to, you know, don't treat it as a command because where order by limit later, they're all commands. Okay, so that's the difference between that. Otherwise, you would know that it's a string and they need to know that, you know, Sentosa is a matching to E. Okay, so if you just remove this, actually, that will be the best example. The remove the double quote, it doesn't work because you have to feed a string into the command or the filtering. So instead of actually just doing like simple filtering, we, which we can do better with a filter uh, functions, I think I believe I did it in lesson five. Yeah, lesson five, you can actually find filter. So filter is a much faster and more efficient way if you want to just filter rows in an array. So if you want to summarize data, let's say, for example, in this case, uh, query will be much easier and straightforward and overall much cleaner way of doing things. Okay, so what I do here is that I select column E, but I also want to select only the maximum of column A, where I group by E. So in this case, uh, we read it from the back. So group by E means select unique number in E. In this case, Sentosa, Versicola, and Virginica. So Sentosa, Versicola, and Virginica. So there's only three uh, flowers over here because we're doing... Sorry, where is it? Uh? Okay, so we're doing uh, group by E. You only group by the unique command in this tree. We also want to select uh, E. So of course, you group by E, you have to display E over here and only the maximum uh, sample length over here. So you also denote, just put here max sample length, which is 5.8, 7, and 7.9. So easily you can know that, mm, yeah, this is the max sample length for tree. So if I don't want A, let's say I want B. So you can also display the max sample width. So if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, you can also do this. Max A and Max B together, which also would display their max, uh, maximum sepal length and maximum sepal width based on the Sentosa, Versicola, and Virginia, which is the group by E command. Okay, so group by E, group by the species, maximum A uh, would display the maximum of that column, basically. Okay, so you can also do, instead of just uh, maximum, you can also do summation and average. So for summation, you just put, you just replace a Max A with some A, so in this case, you can actually do a group by E again, and you get the summation of a simple length very easily. Okay, so um, similar, we can also, yeah. So this is actually what we call a pivot table. So we talk about pivot table a little bit about unique and count if. So that's why you can do a single cell. It can, of course, repeat the process multiple times to get multiple cell. But uh, with uh, directly into query, you can just create a pivot table here where you want the averages of column D while pivoting E. So in this case, you would take the unique value in E, which is Setosa, Versicola, Virginica, and put them into individual column. So in this case, that's what pivot table wants. You want all three in the individual column and the average of D. So average of D is actually this one, pedal width. Where is my pedal width just now? Okay, here, so this is the pedal wave, one, two, three. Of course, you, you will not display things automatically. You might want to change a little bit of your formatting. And yeah, that, that's labeling, we'll talk about it uh, later. 
or I don't think I'm including this because labeling, you know, not that important when you're doing analysis by yourself. Okay, so the, the last one is actually ordered by. The last one, no, the second last one is ordered by. So ordered by, very straightforward, it's just a sorting from maximum to the, uh, it's either ascending or descending. So largest to smallest or smallest to largest. So in this case, I'll do the first example, which is select all where A smaller than 4.9 ordered by A. So you can see now we get 4.7, 4.6, 4.6, and 4.7. So if you want the other, so if you want it to sort by the different column, we actually have here. So you see 3.1, 3.1, 3.2. But in this case, if you sort order by B, you can get 3.1, 3.2, 3.4. So if you don't put anything after the order by, you actually get a sending order. That's the default uh, sorting algorithm. But if you want to have the, the other way around, which is the descending uh, sorting algorithm, you can just put D E S C in the back. So ascending A S C, or uh, if you want to descending D E S C, so you can also do that. Okay, but of course the default is ascending, so if you're doing ascending, you might not need to put it in. Okay, so that's basically just how do you sort the data. So the last one is limit. So limit is actually very important when you only want to display, let's say I only want to display the top 10 or the lowest 10 or the highest 10 and so on. So you do not want to display the whole list because it might be very long. So this is very similar to the hate command when you are, if you are familiar with R or awk or so on. So you only want to see the first two lines in this case. So if you look at the, the one just now, you actually display uh, three different data row. But if you limit by two, you will only display uh, two different data row. So if you can also put one, you will only display one. And of course, if you limit three, you actually get three. So if I want more data, I can also remove A equals to 4.9. And I can just remove the where clause, where you order by, and B descending. So if I also put A, I'll get eight data points subsequently. Okay, so just formatting it so it looks nicer. Okay, so that's basically all the thing that I want to talk about today. So just a refresh. So query command is a very, very similar uh, command to the original SQL language, where I, I believe it's adapted from it. So the, the few commands that we'll talk about is select where, group by, pivot table, and order by, as well as limit. So if you want to select everything, you just, so select actually, just select the number of columns that you want to be in the export. So you can do select all, so that's apostrophe, select ABC, that's the name of the column, or if you're using an array input, this is column one, column two, and column three. Well, where, you can actually filter it based on larger, smaller, equal, so it can be smaller than 4.9, it can be equal to Sentosa, and so on and so forth. You can also make it equal to some other column, so you want to make the export um, very directly refer to the other column, you can also do that. Okay, so the next one is group by. So group by is very similar to the unique uh, function we talked below. But in this case, uh, if you run a group by, it will only display the unique um, value of that column. So in this case, if you group by E, you only display Sentosa, Roscoa, and Virginica, which is the unique uh, species within that column. And also you can display the maximum sample width and maximum sample width based on whatever that you want. So maximum or summation or averages. So you can also do that and run and get a very, very fast summary of that to call it basically. So you can also run a pivot table. So if you do not want to go for the original pivot table, either add-on or tools within Google Sheet, you can run a pivot table within query and say I want an average of column D while pivot column E. So pivot column E means take a unique value put them into individual column, very similar to group by E. It's just that it's one in the row, one is column, so on. Depends on what you want to display, basically. So order by sorting. So in this case, I'm sorting by column A. In this case, I'm sorting by column B. Same, depends on what do you want to do with data and how do you want to present it. So we can sort by either ascending order, which is put ASC by the back of the column, in the back of the column, or you can put DESC in the back of the column name, and you will sort it ascending or descending order, basically. So the last one is limit. So limit, I'll limit the number of columns being displayed. Just do that, I don't know why it doesn't display. Limit a number of columns. Okay, sorry, limit number of rows, not columns. Okay, so you limit number of rows being displayed. You can change it to eight, or you can change it to two. So two, you will display two rows, eight, you will display eight rows, basically. 
So that ends our lesson six for the Google Sheets tutorial. So just go for a topic overview. These are the overall functions that I talk about in this series. There are 10 videos in total. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested, go and check out all the others one or which one that you feel like is very useful. You can go and check it out. Uh, for now, I will thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.